What if I told you that you could live, work, and play on an old military air force base that has now been converted to basically be a mini city on its own right? We're here at a place that a lot of San Antonio locals have gym by for years, but may not have known exactly what it was gonna be or what's happening here. This is everything that you need to know about Brook City Base in San Antonio. So before we show you all the amazing things here at Brook City Base, we want to take you back in time through the history of how this Air Force base came to be and when they decided to kind of tear the fence down, open the community up, and make it the amazing place that it is where you can live, work, and play. So jumping back into how, it, first of all, it got its name, before Brooks was called Brooks, it actually was named Kelly Field before. And the reason that it got renamed to Brooks Field and then later Brooks Air Force Base is because the first training accident that happened here in San Antonio unfortunately cost the life of a young Air Force pilot named Sidney Brooks. So shortly after the accident, they renamed the field to Brooks Field to commemorate and remember Sidney Brooks and of course the unfortunate tragedy that happened here on the ground. For many years after that, this base was a fully active base. It had action in World War I, World War II, different planes going in and out. It was a full service military base until the late 80s to early 90s, at which point it stopped being in use. So about 10 years ago, the fences came down and that's when the Brooks that you know today started taking development. And it's come a long way in the last 10 years. If you drive down on the grounds now, you'll find many different things such as multiple green spaces with art installations. Definitely check them out. There's some very, very memorable hidden Easter eggs in the art on Brooks. But then there's also some other great green spaces such as dog parks, multiple walking trails, the river, the San Antonio River runs through here. So you're able to kind of walk along the banks or jog, bike along the banks if you want to. And you actually could go all the way up to downtown if you really wanted to. So really, really cool thoroughfare here on the grounds. And the way that the grounds have been set up now is they actually have both kind of a mix of commercial, residential, and even industrial sites here on Brooks. So let's jump into kind of the layout, what to expect to see here, and what you might find when you come down the Brooks. If you drive through the grounds, you'll come across the University of the Incarnate Word School of Osteopathic Medicine. This building was the site of the last speech that President John F. Kennedy gave before just two days later he was in Dallas for that unfortunate assassination that happened and rocked the whole world no matter what country you lived in. And what's interesting is after that happened, they basically came, they grabbed the podium that he used, that's of course historic designated as a historic item and cannot be ever tampered or touched with. But even the outside of the building where he's got that recording of the last speech that he ever gave before the assassination, the outside of the building was designated as a historic landmark and cannot be changed at all. So it actually has to stay that way and will continue to look the exact way it does now as it did then. So that's a really neat little piece of history here that Brooks has to offer. Another piece of really amazing history here at Brooks is Hangar 9. And so Hangar 9 is actually the only surviving hangar in the United States of America from World War I. And so they've actually maintained this building. It's now used in the event space. It's still got all its original wood and just charm. And of course, it's been maintained over the years, painted and redone. But it's still the only surviving active hangar that was used in World War I, and it's here on Brooks. And so if you want to come down to the facilities, rent a really neat historic event space that you can have a wedding or any type of other event at, it's here at Brooks. Definitely check out Hangar 9. So starting along Southeast Military Drive, which is one of the borders of Brooks, you have a brand new restaurant row that's kind of forming here on the southeast side of San Antonio. You've got many different shops and retailers such as BJ's Brewhouse, Pluckers, Salad and Go, Bubba's 33, Day's Hot Chicken, A La Gloria, one of our large chains that we love here in San Antonio. They've got Stout House, they've got Crumble Cookie, and so many more. And that's just on the food side, let alone all the actual retailers that are slated to open between now and the next couple years to those strip centers along the highway. And then what's cool is as you come off of military and you enter into the grounds itself, you have the Embassy Suites, the hotel that's been here for a couple of years, but it's actually like the closest full concierge hotel to the coast. There's nothing else between here and Corpus Christi and, and Port A than this Embassy Suite. So again, that's the first thing that people are seeing when they want to have that full concierge experience coming up from the coast to the Embassy Suites. A little bit of not a known fact is in front of the Embassy Suites, they're actually going to be redeveloping that area here in the next couple of years 
to be a major kind of city center. They're gonna make it kind of like the Brooks downtown with again, more bars, nightlife, restaurants, and just really be a cool downtown urban living experience. And that again is gonna start being developed here in the next couple of years. So we mentioned briefly earlier as well, some of the green spaces that are here, like the dog park and the art installation. What's cool to know is that if you are an electric vehicle owner, they do have some electric charging stations here at the green spaces. So this is nice if you're living on site, you're renting on site, you wanna kind of come to the park quickly, have an afternoon jog or anything like that, you can come and charge your car. So definitely don't miss that and check it out. But Brooks actually does have a lot of industrial buildings on the southern part of the property where the airfield used to be. And if you actually drive down there, you'll see the old concrete pads where the Air Force and the airstrip used to be. And then when you're in that area, you'll see all the different big industrial companies that are here on Brooks, such as Sun City Solar and a little known one, Tesla. Tesla's actually opening a door factory where they're gonna be building doors for some of their cars here on the property and they're going up and being constructed now. So really cool, again, big commercial space, industrial, but not, it doesn't take away from the living, the renting, the areas that are here in Brooks, and of course the town center and the retail development that's going because it's on another part of the property, but a really neat use of space by the housing authority that they did here. There's also multiple different schools on the property as well. Again, making it really easy to live, work, educate, and play on the grounds. So Brooks truly is a city within a city that has it all. If you're not ready to purchase a home just yet, but you love what Brooks has to offer, there's also multiple different rental opportunities available on the property now. These include high-end luxury apartment complexes. So again, if you're not ready to buy yet, there's a lot of good rental opportunities here, and we can also help you with any of those. We're still on Brooks property, standing in front of the South Lake community. And again, this is your ability to live on an old military base permanently. So if you wanna live down here, you can come to South Lake, you can purchase one of these homes at Terry Marks Building, amazing urban development, and the best part, rooftop access, baby. Unblocked sight lines of all of the surrounding Brooks area and the beautiful Texas landscape. We're gonna check this neighborhood out and see what you think. So here at the South Lake community, Terramark is again building these amazing condominium homes with rooftop access, like we mentioned, providing those unparalleled sight lines compared to any other property that you could find in this area. What's great is the price point. They're starting here in the South Lake community in the high 300s, making it extremely affordable for you to own one of these homes and look at the finish out on these things. Very high end details, very high end fixtures, high end kitchen, high end bathrooms, high end everything in this home to where you feel like you're walking into a very, very modern, well-developed piece of property. So you can own a piece, again, of an old Air Force base where you can call your home permanently. You can live here in one of these homes now. Reach out to us for more details on this amazing product that Terramark Homes is building here at Brooks. All right guys, so this is it. This is Brooks City Base right here in San Antonio, Texas, just south of downtown. And of course we've covered all the amazing things to do here, the way to live here, the way to work here, and of course the way to play. There are so many amazing green spaces and features that this neighborhood has. It's not even a neighborhood, it's really just kind of a mini city in itself. There's just so many amazing features that it has and we wanna make sure that we help you get a home here. So if you're looking to buy, reach out to us. Again, Terramark's building right now. And in the future, there's going to be a couple other neighborhoods and developments that are here on the Brooks property. So if you're interested at all, reach out to us. We'll get you all set up and tell you what those next steps are. My name is Chris Marty, aka The Rebate Guy. Please like and subscribe for more amazing content on our channel.